All right, what is going on, everybody? So we're back with another edition of our predictions for 2016, and today we are doing the AL West. Yeah, AL West. I think what it's called. If I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be pretty pissed, but I think I'm right. Um, I give it to the Angels, number one. There, there. They got to get it. I think. If they don't do something, Mike Trout is going to motherfucking leave. Am I the only one else who thinks that? Mike Trout will leave. I, I, I mean, I really think that because he's, he's like the best in the MLB and they're not doing really much. They didn't really bring anybody from to pitching, but that prospect, I think his name is Andrew Heaney. Yeah, bring him up. Um, Richards has got to be better. Shoemaker has got to be better, but... The reason I give them number one is for what they did do this offseason. They this did bring in Andrelton Simmons, which base. he is a freaking beast. Again, a one, and he's going to get on base. He's going to help that offense. And you bring in my favorite player in the MLB, you know Escobar, which I was hoping he'd go back to Toronto, but he did not. He went to the Angels, and he can sure as heck get on base. And help that offense out. So, along with Mike Trout and Albert Pujols, if he's healthy, they're going to be good. And Cole Calhoun can play. So, if they can trade for a pitcher at the trade deadline, they are taking number one. And, and it's, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Now, number two, I got the Texas Rangers. You Darvish will be back. They got Cole Hamels, and then they got. What's the guy who wears like the wild thing? Remember the Major League movie? He's got that haircut, haircut now. I forget his name all the time, but I know he's good. Why do I, I always forget people's name when I start the video? Think about everything. When I start the video, I start the video and I can't freaking remember nothing. But that's but I got them number two because they're gonna be good and they they help the pitching out this off season and uh, they brought in in Desmond, which I'm. Try, I want to see what he does in the outfield because you know he's not starting over El Elvis Andrews, is he? Or Old Door. So I'm, they're probably going to put him in the outfield so he can have that one season in the outfield to see if any of the scouts or any other team want to sign him next year. He's only signed on a one year deal. Now, number three, I know this is crazy. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, they should be number one or two. It's the Houston Astros. I know they did super good last year. I know. I was surprised as heck. I, I mean. I didn't think they were going to be able to do it. They're going to they're going to be better this year. They got Fierce back. They got Fister, Ken Giles. They did not get a first baseman. I don't know why, but I thought they were going to get Freddie Freeman a couple of times this offseason, but they didn't get him. So they need a first baseman. That's not the only reason I think they're going to do it because they shocked me last year. They've got to shock me again this year to really do it. Be I know they're young and talented, but I do not see them doing it this year with what the Rangers and Angels can do. It's just even better because Mike freaking Trout and then the Rangers got you Darvish and Cole Hamels as one of the craziest pitching staff. So, I know Dallas Keuchel's good. I know George Springer's good. I know Correa's good. I know. And I know how is good. Come on now, guys. I know all y'all were shocked last year. They're going to have to shock me again. But I got them at three. Now, number four is Seattle. I still got them at number four. They're not making the playoffs. I think they need to tear this team apart. Keep King Felix. Keep uh, Kyle Seager at third baseman. Get rid of everybody else. Except for Tommy Walker. I think he'd be good you know, to keep. And rebuild this team from just... Because I feel like they're bringing in so much stuff. There's going to be all these new people, but I don't know what they're going to be able to do. We know Adam Lynn. He's he's established in this league. He can hit some home runs, but will he do it in that ballpark? They got Nelson Cruz, which they could keep in two and three. Don't really Robinson Cano hasn't done much. I know the last half of the season he was really, really good, but we're not seeing the Robinson Cano of the Yankees. We're not. So I don't know if that's going to help out Seattle or not, but they just need to do something. I don't think I did in all these people. I think they should start with the rebuild. Their fans will be all right. If they want to win, and they want to win in a couple years, let them do the rebuild, and you might see a chance of them making the playoffs. So their fans can just calm down. Now for the last, 
this is what hurts me because the Athletics are my second favorite team. Well, I have two favorite teams. It's Athletics in Toronto. So to say that they're going to be dead last in the AL West, they are. Sadly, I don't want to say it, but I mean, they did bring Chris Davis over, to which that is awesome. Let's go. They did bring her Henderson Alvarez over. That's good too. They got Matson, Ryan Matson. I don't know why they got him, but hopefully Sean Doolittle will, will be healthy. And but they don't have Bud Norris in They got Stephen Vogt. Stephen Vogt, good. Josh Reddick, good. I don't really know what it's. Marcus Simeon, good. I don't know. I see them next year. They're going to do some crazy shit in the trades, trade deadline, get them some better players, and they're going to be in the playoffs next season. I can probably guarantee it because they're crazy like that. But that is my predictions for the AL West. Let me know yours in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I am out. Uh, I mean, next week we should be starting the NL predictions, so that should be pretty fun. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. He was named the American League's silver slugger for third baseman. He'll put it away without much trouble and the leadoff.